Basilosaurus in large numbers of well-preserved fossil specimens have been found in the Egyptian Saharan Desert. During the late Eocene, the area was a network of shallow bays and mangrove swamps. Contrary to its Walking with Beasts depiction television program, that it was better suited to open water, Basilosaurus was actually better equipped for the shallows. Basilosaurus was a predator of the smaller primitive whale Durodon, as numerous bite marks found on the fossils of this smaller whale can verify. In the Eocene oceans, Basilosaurus wasn't the only big predator within it. Just as whales were rising to the top of the food chain, another group of predators kept pace. With no mosasaurs left standing at the end of the Cretaceous, sharks for the first time in their evolutionary history could take over the oceans of the Cenozoic. And one group, the Otodontids, would rule those ancient oceans for the most of the Cenozoic. Carcaricles auriculatus is the oldest species of Carcaricles, itself having evolved from the older Atodus, which was still gigantic, being the size of an orca. The evolution of the Otodontids is one of the only documented cases in the fossil record where it's possible to find a chain of ancestors' descendant relationships. Carcaricles auriculatus' descendants would develop broader, more heavily serrated teeth and grow increasingly larger culminating in the extremely successful 50-foot leviathan that would be the infamous Carcaricles megalodon. While much smaller than its Miocene descendant, Carcaricles auriculatus was still formidable enough to compete with Basilosaurus for apex predator position, but its size disadvantage would mean a direct attack on the whale would normally be risky. If Basilosaurus became incapacitated for some reason, or in the case of giving birth, it could have become potential prey for Carcaricles auriculatus. While Carcaricles auriculatus would die out at the end of the Eocene, its immediate descendant, Carcaricles angostidens, which would in turn evolve into Carcaricles chubutensis, and then Carcaricles megalodon, would have lived on to continue the Otodontid dynasty. Basilosaurus wasn't as lucky. It and all other archaeocetes died out and they were replaced by baleen and toothed whales. The latter group would produce the raptorial sperm whales, who would become a dynasty to rival that of the megatooth sharks.